This is the Gary Yamamoto Cinco. This pin shaped soft plastic is the number one beginner bass lure in the world. And I don't think anyone's gonna argue with me about that. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to rig this bait and how to fish this bait so you can start catching bass and having the time of your life. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a good one. This video is brought to you by sportsmansoutfitters.com. If you are new to fishing and you're looking for a place online to buy tackle, Sportsman's Outfitters has you covered. Not only do they have all the tackle we're going to talk about, but they have it at a great price. So if you're looking to pick up some of this tackle, click those links down below in the description. Now there's no doubt that the Yamamoto Cinco has caught more bass than just about any soft plastic on the market. Not only that, but it is extremely easy to use, which makes it the perfect beginner bass lure. You can do it! Now when it comes to colors, I like a natural color and I like a dark color. Here I have a green pumpkin and a June bug. I use the green pumpkin or natural color when I'm fishing in clear water or on sunny days. Now, if I'm fishing in dark conditions, whether that's cloudy days or first thing in the morning, late in the evening, or maybe in stained or muddy water, I will use the June bug color. Now, before you fish it, let's show you three easy ways to rig this bait. Now, the first and easiest way to rig this bait is wacky rig. Now, to set up the wacky rig, you need a simple J shank style hook. As you can see, it's a J. Now I typically like a one-aught wacky rig or J hook. Now I'm going to take my 10 pound test that I have right here and tie a simple Palomar knot. I'm going to pass the line through the eye of the hook and then I'm actually going to turn around and pass the line back through the eye and that creates this small loop. Next I will take this loop and tie a simple overhand knot. Now before cinching this knot down I'm going to take the loop and pass it completely over my hook. Then I'm going to wet my line using my mouth and then pull the knot tight. And then I'm going to snip off my tag in, leaving about an eighth of an inch of line. This is a very simple knot that is very effective. The next thing I'm simply going to do is take my hook and I'm going to jab it right through where I think the middle of that worm is, just like this. That is a simple wacky rig that has won thousands of dollars in tournaments and caught millions of bass. Now the best thing about a wacky rig is it is extremely easy to fish. I am simply going to cast this bait out and let it fall on a completely slack line. This bait is going to fall very slowly through the water column and the bass absolutely love this slow sinking action. Most of the time those bass are going to eat it while that bait is slowly falling. The big thing you wanna do is simply watch your line. You will see your line falling slowly to the bottom, but if your line starts taking off, that probably means a bass picked it up and it's time to set the hook. Now, once your bait hits the bottom, you will see your line stop. At that point, I will actually raise my rod a couple of times, twitch the bait, and then let that bait fall again to the bottom. And I will continue this process all the way back to the shore. Now, when it comes to setting the hook with a wacky worm, you're going to want to reel tight down to the fish and simply pull back in kind of a swift motion. This has plenty of power to set that hook into the fish's mouth. Now, although the wacky rig is a great way to catch a lot of fish, as you can see here, this bait is not very weedless. It is going to get hung on wood and grass if you're fishing next to it. Now, another way to rig this bait weightless is by Texas rigging it. Now these two hooks are the most common hooks that you will see to use on a Texas rig. You use them pretty much the same way, although they are a little bit different. This hook here is what we call an EWG hook, which stands for extra wide gap. This hook here is an offset worm hook, and this is actually the hook that I prefer to use. Now when it comes to the EWG or offset worm hook, usually a three-aught or a four-aught is going to be perfect for a five-inch Cinco. Now again, I'm going to use a simple Palomar knot to tie on my offset worm hook. Now on the Cinco, you can see that there is a pointed in and there is a more rounded end. And we are going to rig up our Texas rig through the round end. Now to do this, I'm going to take my hook point and go in through the top of the worm about a quarter to three eighths of an inch and then pop that hook out. 
Now the next thing I'm gonna do is pull the worm of the hook up to the notch in the eye of the hook. And as I get to the notch, I'm simply going to twist my hook around and lay it just like this. As you can see, this little notch keeps this worm from going anywhere. The next thing I'm gonna do is lay my worm against my hook so I can see where I need to penetrate the worm next. As you can see, it's right around here. Take my hook and stick it all the way through the worm just like so. Now the last step is called texposing. I'm gonna take the point of that hook and just pull the plastic over it just like that. Now as you can see here, we have a perfectly straight worm that is also weedless. It will come through grass, it will come through wood. Now one little tip about a Cinco, once you catch a lot of bass, you're going to wear out this side. And once that happens, you can simply take your worm and you can actually just rig it on the other side the exact same way. Now, I don't always do this, but if I'm running low on Cinco's and I wanna use them to catch more fish, I will do this exact same process, but I will do it on the pointed side. Now, the EWG hook like this is the exact same process. Go through the top, come out about a quarter to three eighths of an inch down, pull the hook up, twist it around, line it up with your bait, go through the bait, out the other side, and then text pose the hook. Now I'm going to fish the Texas style weightless worm the exact same way that I fished the wacky rig. Now, one other thing that you can do with a Texas rig is you can actually add a weight to the top of it. So before you tie your hook on, you're going to put a weight on your line and then tie it on. Usually I'm gonna use a quarter to an eighth ounce weight for my Texas rigs. Now the last way to rig up this bait is actually on a Ned rig. A Ned rig is a very deadly way to catch a lot of bass. I'm going to take my Cinco and I'm actually just going to cut it in half just like so. And then that little end, you actually have two of them now. This is what you're going to use on your Ned rig. Now there are a lot of good Ned rig heads on the market. I actually make this one, but I'm gonna link some down below. To rig up the Ned rig, I'm going to line up the jig head next to my worm, and then I'm going to thread the worm onto the jig head and coming out of the worm where I lined it up. Then I typically add a little dab of super glue right there and that is a perfect little net rig. Now this bait here is a killer for smallmouth bass and spotted bass, but it will catch a lot of largemouth as well. And I really like to use the Ned rig when I am fishing around open water situations, especially if there's a hard bottom like a rock bottom. That's it, that is the Cinco. That's three ways that you can fish it and start catching bass right now. If you wanna learn more about Cinco's, I made a video that I'm gonna link right here that talks about a lot of big mistakes guys make with a Cinco. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.